Hello, I'm Mark, and this is my video lecture about solving word problems with rational expressions and rational equations. So let's read the problem. The numerator fraction is four more than the denominator. Two is added to the denominator, and five is added, subtracted from the numerator. We obtain two fifths. What is the value of the original fraction? Okay. So we don't know what the numerator is, we don't know what the denominator is, we're trying to figure it out. But if we let the denominator equal x, we can let the numerator equal x plus 4, because we know the numerator is 4 more than the denominator. So numerators go in the top, denominators go in the bottom. And we know that what? If we add 2 to the denominator, And if we subtract 5 from the numerator, all that should give us what? It should give us 2 fifths. Okay, so what would be my next step here? My next step would be to simplify my numerator. Okay, so 4 minus 5, that's negative 1. And then what can I do here? Well, I can cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply the 5 times the x minus 1 and the 2 times the x plus 2. So 5 times x minus 1. is equal to 2 times x plus 2. Now I'm going to distribute, so that's 5x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 4. Okay. And then now I'm going to put all my variables on the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Looks like this is going to give me a 3x minus 5 is equal to 4. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Looks like this is going to give me a 3x is equal to 9. It looks like my steps would be to divide a 3 on both sides. And so it looks like I'm going to get an x is equal to 3. Well, if you look up here, x was what? x represent our numerator. So then if x equals 3, our denominator equals 3, then our numerator is what? 3 plus 4, so that's 7. So then the original fraction was the numerator, which is 7 over the denominator, which is 3. So our original fraction was 7 thirds. So this has been my video lecture about solving equations containing rational expressions, and thank you for listening.